The Lakers lost two tough ones this week against top North Division opponents and are looking to turn it around as they continue with a tough schedule of games this week. And joining us now to talk about his head basketball coach, Rick Wesley. Turnovers were the big issue in, in the loss to, to Lake State at home last week. And then on Saturday, your team falls down early within the first five minutes of the game by 14 points, just too much to come back from. Yeah, it was a tough week. Uh, Lake State's a very good team. Um, got a nice veteran group, some young guys mixed in. Uh, they're very in sync. They don't beat themselves. Their offense is, um, you know, very, very efficient. And their defense is really solid. It's hard to score against them. So uh, I thought we battled pretty good. Um, but against a team like them, like I said, you can't turn the ball. We gave away a lot of possessions in this game. And ultimately, I think that's probably what cost us. Yeah, you only lose by three points, but to Lake State scored 29 points off of 18 Grand Valley turnovers. Had to be quite frustrating to sit there and watch that unfold. Yeah, it, it is. You know, Sam McClendon, uh, you know, is playing a point for us. He's trying to do a good job. It's tough as a freshman. Uh, you know, so our, it, our offense is not really running as smoothly as we want. We had some just, just careless turnovers, like one like right there that leads directly to a basket. So that that's kind of tough. Uh, um, but, you know, again, our, our guys were pretty game. Uh, Darren Kapoos got a nice pass to Luke. Luke had been really playing well. I think Darren actually uh, has taken his game up a little bit. There you see him again. He's, he's really, um, you know, in a good mindset, kind of in an attack mode right now and playing pretty well. You know, Lake State plays this high-pressure full-court defense. You knew that going in. I'm sure you prepared for it. But why is it so tough to, to move the ball and get into a half-court set against that team? Well, I, I just think that, you know, we're, we're lacking in our backcourt right now. Um, you know, we're just – Aaron Hayes has been out. When Aaron was in uh, for the three games he started, you know, I thought we were playing pretty well. You know, he's an attack guy. He's very hard to pressure. I think teams are feeling like with our young guys, they can get after him a little bit more aggressively. And, until we show that we're able to handle that, we're probably going to see some more of that. You know, Luke Reiskamp had a, had a nice uh, performance in this game for you. 20 points, 9 rebounds, a near double-double. Kaputska, Saban, Alexander, also double-digit scores. Uh, it's got to be frustrating Yeah, well, off that. offensively, you know, the numbers look pretty good. We, we scored 75 points. There's a nice shot by uh, DK. Uh, you mentioned Luke. Luke's been in a good role. But, you know, our, our, our Achilles heel here was defense. We just could not stop them in the second half. You know, our offense, we, we scored enough that it should be okay. And like right there, there's their, you know, Williams' best three-point shooter getting an uncontested three. That you just can't beat good teams with uh, that poor defense. Still struggling with some injuries, obviously. Can you give us a quick little uh, report here? Cause, well, uh, yeah, we got more than our share. You know, uh, hopefully uh, we'll find out uh, soon. Uh, Luke Reiskamp got banged up. Trevin Alexander got banged up on Saturday. Uh, Aaron Hayes, Ernie Anson. Um, you know, they're still out. Hopefully we'll get one or two of those guys back pretty soon. All right, here's the Northwood game. Why don't you walk us through some of these highlights? Well, Northwood's a team that has really found their way. There's big bulls. I mean, geez, you know, he's a man. He's a big, <laughs> strong guy. And, uh, you know, they, they've uh, had won three in a row and had lost in overtime to Saginaw Valley, who was undefeated, had another close game. So they, they've really found their way. I, I was really, I'm really impressed with the job that they've done. Um, there's their big guy again. I mean, he's a senior, big, strong guy. We, we struggle with him, but their point guard, Maurice Jones, uh, who was uh, USC's best player his freshman and sophomore year until he became ineligible, uh, he really was a hard matchup for us. Again, uh, you know, our young guards uh, have their hands full. Uh, Miles Miller came off the bench, gave us a few good minutes. That here you see him right here, the little guy. He, he's a tough little player, uh, had 18 points, I think nine assists. So uh, he, he, he was a little bunch. Ricky again came back, had a strong offensive game. Uh, for us and uh, you know we, we were right there we were competitive here's miles nice pull up you know we're doing some good things uh, we're competing uh, we're in the games but we're just not quite good enough to finish it off at the end right now well this was also a game uh, Rick when your team fell down by 14 it seemed like right after the national anthem was over you spotted them 14 points and with all the injuries and the depth issue that you're having right now you probably knew it was going to be an uphill climb the entire afternoon yeah our, our start was not not great and I'll give you know give them credit too they hit some tremendous uh, shots early in the game but it was so early in the game you know, you felt like, all right, we got a lot of time. And we were able to work our way back into the game. Even by halftime, I felt like we were back in the game. We closed the gap in the second half. So uh, you're right. I mean, we, we can't afford to, to do that. It just makes our uphill climb that much greater. But, uh, but to our guys' credit, they, they didn't uh, pack it in. And with only three guys on the bench, we still had a good uh, 
uh, you know, good attitude, good chemistry, and a good sense uh, that we're going to get it done. We just weren't able to get over the hump at the end. Tough stretch coming up this week for sure. Three games in five days. Uh, Saginaw Valley, one of the better teams in the league on Thursday. Good news is you get them at home and then at Hillsdale and then Ferris on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know, the North Division, uh, you know, we, we picked a heck of a year to have our troubles, but uh, this North Division is, you know, we've probably got four of the strongest, four, maybe five of the strongest teams we've had in a long time. And, you know, I'd, I wish I could put us in that group. We're not there right now. We just got to keep working and grinding, find our way, find our way, hopefully get some guys back and, uh, and, and make a little bit of a late season push here. All right, Rick, good luck this week. All right, thank you. You bet. We'll be back with women's head basketball coach Janelle Burgess right after this.